Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of Civilization VI. Coming at you with episode two of our Ethiopia run. It is our first look at Ethiopia, and as you can see, while you're away, I didn't do any turns or anything like that, but I did take some time to embrace all things Ethiopia. Map's looking pretty crazy right now. We set up what we believe will be the best option for a, um, for a government plaza. We'll utilize commercial hubs around that to beef that up. And nice little campus here for this guy is a plus three. There's a campus out here for this city is plus four. This is a plus four here, plus three, plus four. So some really good solid campuses. This is a potential city, of course. We, uh, we have to see what we're capable of. Settled in. Basically, all the rock units you see are all the fives and sixes that I could find that don't take up a resource spot and hopefully won't be taken up by iron either. And yeah, so hopefully we'll be able to get most of them. Obviously, like I've got a number of them planned. We'd be giving up a lot of production by doing them from the mines, but that's the plan anyway. So we'll see what happens. Potential settle... Uh, is this a, this is a potential set of way out here on this reef as well, but I'm not really sure Or maybe if there's a hill here would be nice. If there'd be a hill along here another hill along here somewhere would be nice Because we don't have any hills there. Anyway, let's keep on Yeah, I had a Fiona or something like that. Doggy. Let's keep on keeping on which Ruh -roh. Why you want to hurt me, bro? Um, no, I just realized. Do you want to know what I just realized? <laughs> I'm not very smart. I need to go. I actually need to buy this tile as well. I need to farm both of these to get three tile improvements because it's the only three tile improvements I have options for. It's the only three tiles I have options to improve, and I can't improve that. Well, I guess, yeah, I guess I can improve this, which gives me the boost to irrigation, and then I can come back and get it, so that's fine. I just, I was thinking I could do this one on the way, and that just was an idiot thing to do. I was thinking I could do this one on the way, but I don't have the technology, and I can't get it until I do this, and then come back, so kind of slow, but... It is what it is. Next turn. That guy's beating himself up there. Another first meet. That's very encouraging. Ladies and gentlemen, that is very encouraging. Two reasons. Unfortunately, it's not Mahendradero, but uh, Namadal, districts on a coast. That's pretty good because we are going to have probably a couple or two coastal cities or three coastal cities. Uh, uh, okay. He's going to be able to hit me next turn no matter what. Oh, wow. That's a plus five campus right there. Yowza. I cannot get back on the hill and he's going to be able to hit me. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna step here and take it on. There is that is a hill. Fantastic. That's a city right there. Like I said, it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be super tough. Another bar hut back here. Holy cow. It's gonna be super tough to hold that in a dark age, but Right now we're okay. Looks like they're back, more back over here, so we'll get it settled as quick as we can. Maybe eat. Well, I can't really. I don't want to want to eat resources. Obviously, as maybe we just have a builder right away and then work the crap out of those. Get the get the food up. Get our population up. Get the population in the capital up. Alright. 
But no, I was just going to say, this is a good indication because this is a, um, a, a city on the coast. We always get the boost, which is important for city states. But we kind of have this for free as well. We know that we kind of have this for free. We'll be able to do a lake settle. Um, worst case scenario, we could settle on that. But we could settle something. Oh, wait. Yeah. We'll settle something on the lakes here. And then perhaps if it's a first meet, so there's perhaps there's nothing up here and there's more land there that we can grab. So that, that's a good feel. Uh, I've already got the camp on the first. Yeah. Oh. So we are going to make our way slowly over here. Now, Pantheon. This is a tricky situation here. Because if it's available... I don't think it is. Nope. I think somebody's taking it. I was considering Settler here. And I do not see it. Nope. Fertility rates is there, which I don't want unfortunately so earth goddess we don't have much appeal right now with all this jungle but we'll get rid of the jungle and the rock unes will give us appeal now we're also going to get rid of the trees in here but we have a lot of mountains so that should help but here's the thing this tile for instance is breathtaking faith generation equals science and culture and so if we're generating faith in these cities from the tiles, with then we're going to generate more science and culture from that faith. So the more beautiful we get these tiles, the better. Uh, for instance, we have a breathtaking down here. Um, mountain... Yeah, it's not beautiful by any means, but we could start to make it better. And it's faith generation, like I said, which equals science and culture. So that's that's one thought. That's one thought. I really kind of wanted the settler to get out there. Because we don't have a lot of chops for settlers either. The other thought is Divine Spark. Divine Spark is quite fun for, um, well, in particular for the culture games because you can get your great writers so much faster because your amphitheater is basically doubling their, uh, getting that extra great person point. So it's like, you just, you get great writers so fast and obviously you get, the faster you get them, the more you fill up your places and get culture faster, get tourism faster, all those things. So it's a nice little boost, not to mention the scientists can help push your push your way towards flight faster as well. So those are the kind of the two big options right now. And I'm having trouble deciding which one we want to do. The uh, culture for plantations, we have some plantations, but it's not going to be nearly enough to make it anywhere near worth it. It's, it'd be like four or five culture so not really in the conversation so i feel like as much as i think divine smart divine smart smirk spark divine spark might be a little bit better of a choice maybe i think i want to go with earth goddess just so that we could start generating faith faster in these cities and start getting that extra boost from the 15 percent and we'll just start trucking along like i said we have a lot of mountains in and around this area once we get rid of the jungles which we'll prioritize then it'll start to get nicer and nicer and we'll start to get more breathtaking and we'll start to get the more faith so the divine mark <laughs> exactly moondoggy i'm gonna grab earth goddess and compound things which means for instance three faith here so, when you go in here, out of curiosity... So, we're getting 0.7 from Faith and 0.7 from Faith. So, almost a science and a culture. Eh, it's a start. It's a start. And like I said, we had a lot of jungle. We'll get rid of it. 
and then we'll be good to go. That guy's moving there. We are on the run, ladies and gentlemen. This warrior is hot on our tail. Too bad I didn't have the promotion for hills because I'd have been out here already. As it is, I'm probably going to have to... What I'll have to do is next turn I'll step here, take the hit, and then run. Okay, next turn we get a builder. I took 34 damage, just 24. That sucks. All right, I'm going to step there. He can come hit me on that hill where, of course, we have the plus four advantage, which is pretty, pretty sweet. And I didn't put in... Um, I didn't put in the uh, bonus. I need to go... Next turn, I go and make the uh, farm, which will give us the ability to make plantations at which time. I will do that. In here, it's time for a... Trader. A trader. Buy the spice. No, that's not really a valuable enough title. I don't, I don't have a need for it. I'm not going to even be improving it. This city is fine. I'll be working the 2-2 two, two here, the 2-2, two, two, and the 3-1, as well as this 2-2. Two, two. i got lots of tiles to work before I work that anyway. It's It's got no production on it, so I don't want that early. If I needed it for... Oh, wow. Thank you very much. That was awfully kind of you to step on the wrong tile there, Mr. Warrior. We'll see you later, alligator. Writing. Now that's a little bit scary, but here's the thing. I am going to fortify in place, and I'm also going to get an extra fortify. I get an extra bonus for being fortified for a full turn. I'm going to get the plus four combat strength. I do not have on the warrior card, which really sucks. I'm going to see. I think I definitely survive these two hits, but I, I don't know if I'll have a promotion at which time I'll be in much better shape. I don't think I will, because I think I'm going to get four each. I think I'm going to be short of the promotion. Which means... Yeah, Scout, yeah. Which means... I'm probably going to have to run. Probably going to have to run. Okay, so this guy's going here. There's the boost to irrigation. Which means I can work this. Which is a beautiful, beautiful thing. Irrigation's done. Oh, you know what I just realized? I should have three tiles improved. Ah, here we go. So, next turn, I'll be able to put the card on. It'll be one turn late. Because I didn't get I didn't get that fully done. Shoot. I needed to give it one more turn. Alright, let's go get mining. We need to get the bronze working so we can get start getting rid of rainforest. Turn on the card. I will in one turn, buddy. At this point, we just got to pray that we survive. You know what I'm saying? I'll cross over here and get down to there. On next turn. Skill without imagination yeah. So it's popping out units big time and I need to run because I didn't even give me the promotion so we're gonna grab discipline and I'm gonna turn this off and take the production which is nice and then I'm gonna come over here And I think I can eat the marsh. I'm going to eat this marsh and then let this guy do this and this. And I can get the population going in this city better. And also get rid of the marsh, which is ugly. We have so much jungle around this tile.
Pop 6 should be coming in soon. I was thinking about moving towards getting the campus done. Which I still could do. I could come back. I could have actually gone there. Hmm. I don't think I would have gotten done in time. Seven turns on a campus. If I'd have if I'd have gone this way instead of this way, I could have chopped that into the campus. Oh, I wish I'd have done that now. Shoot! We're gonna get the tile for free in three turns, it looks like. I think I'm gonna turn around. Interesting. Potential settle there. One, two. And there's a settle there on a hill, I believe. Pretty sure that's three tiles away. Yep. And then I can settle that desert. What other one of those? Actually, the further down, the better. To reach this, if I could settle that, if that if that's a hill, that's the settle. That whale would be out of range, though. Ugh. Keeps that. Yeah, I don't know. You could actually settle on other city. I mean, you could just settle all kinds of cities, right? We're gonna have. Well, the funny thing is, too, to keep in mind. What's interesting. What's interesting is that with all the faith that we're going to be generating, I can I'm going to be able to buy a fair amount of settlers with faith probably. None of these guys wanted a trade route, eh? Eureka for wheel. Um, which direction do we want to... Road. Probably to Auckland? Actually, we could just go to Hobart. And get the same thing. Trade route gets destroyed by the... Yeah. You gotta go to Auckland, because the trade. Otherwise, the trade route gets destroyed by the barbs right now. Zero chance of survival. That's the capital. This is gonna be rough. That capital does not have much population, though. It is struggling. I wish I'd turned to Gogi on. Well, I kind of needed. I kind of needed. Yeah. I could. I could chop the builder. I'm not sure if I want to chop the builder or the slinger. Oh, good point. I was thinking, I forgot. Usually you get it so much faster. I need, uh... I need population. Not for three turns, though. I need pop. Oh, wait. 
this guy goes here, next turn I chop out the population. No, that's all right. It actually is going to work because I'm going to chop this marsh. Yeah, good. I just want to double check. I wasn't screwing things up in my head. I'm going to eat this marsh. This will go to pop three. And then uh, I'll get the boost next turn. So I think I'm going to go... with Slinger and turn on a Gogi. Either that or I turn on the Builder card and, and chop the Builder. The thing is, is I want to get the campus done as fast as... I'm going to go Slinger. I want to get, as, I want to get some carryover if I can. I could have shift entered as well and just given up the production and then chopped the whole thing into the campus. Because I do I want to get the campus done before state workforce. Oh crap. Oh crap. Run, forest. Yeah, I need the slinger. Okay, let's go. Who deserves more credit than the wife of a coal miner? Didn't actually fare too badly in that. Of course you're standing there. Okay, so, um... Sorry, this in the right order. Pop three gives us the boost. And take out discipline and pump in a gogi. And of course, it didn't give me the right tile. Why the hell would it? So I gotta buy it. Slinger done. Six turns on the campus. Which will start as a plus four anyway. And I'm gonna move the slinger in this direction to start working on this. You are gonna fortify in place and heal up. Early Empire boost is done. This, sh when we get this boost, should turn this down to like four more turns. And mining is done. Boost to bronze working is done. So six turns on that. We can start to clear marsh, or sorry, jungle, rainforest, whatever you want to call it. Into Pingala. No doubt about it. One charge left here. We go and do this. This one's still left undone. We're going to need more builders. There's a slinger. That needs killing. Ten turns. Hopefully this disappears. Hopefully we're getting close. I would like to get... If I can, ooh, that's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. If I can, I'd like to get the Dark Age, which means that 
I probably need to wait on this. He, if he comes and grabs that sitting, we piss. We might be able to put units in the way of him getting through to that, which might be the only solution. If we can just get units like in the way of him getting up onto that, like otherwise, the Dark Age might be too much for us. So we'll, we'll save two turns on the state workforce there. Oh, I guess it's one now because we our culture just sped up. So the four that's going to get built in time to save one turn now. Um, oh wow. Okay, so I need to turn, when I get a chance, I have to turn on double scout. Because I'm about to discover a wonder. Wow. That's actually pretty sweet. Oh, you know what though? I don't want to do it because I'll get a gold, I'll get out of the dark age. Okay, so I gotta, I'm gonna wait on that. I have to wait on this. Shift enter was my thought too, but don't know if it's uh, not. Well, it's not considered cheating anymore because if you do shift enter, you just lose the production for that turn. You can't carry you can't carry production through. Um, a, a shift enter anymore. Oh crap! There was a slinger there. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to turn around because this guy will come as well. Oh, does it carry one turn? I thought it didn't carry at all. I must have misread that or misunderstood that. This city's campus is going to be interesting. I don't know what I'm going to do for a campus in this city. I could throw it back here for the plus three. And then just have it be... That's a thought. I'm gonna get a builder for now. Oh, and the multiplayer mod? Oh, there's a multiplayer mod. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they changed the game so it doesn't do it. I don't know. Maybe it is one turn. I'm not I have I don't know. I'd have to that'd be a question for Borderline. Okay, Roy, it's 20 minutes to your food, so don't be like that. Daddy's my daddy's busy. Okay, so we are bailing out there, big time. This guy is trying to heal up. Ah, <sighs> hmm. I almost walked over there. Some land up here. That'll be ours as well. It's pretty flat though, so it doesn't really help us that much. Hopefully there's a, a hilly tile over in here that we can settle the wonder with. We're not on a hill there, eh? Shoot. I don't even have the freaking card on. I gotta keep bailing out. Hill there. What I need to do is stop moving with my scout entirely. Please be close. Ah.
So we know there's a goodie hut there, and it's on a hill. We actually settle that coffee. At the very least, we could settle the coffee. Maybe there's a hilly tile there as well. Would be ideal. Okay, there we go. Uh, Ten turns. I'm going to just hold my spot with that scout. Campus next turn finishes off workforce. Saves me one turn anyway. Be nice to have that science boost as well. Oh my god. Just as it popped up. Ah, uh, I just as it popped up, I realized it was your score. Just it's just like that. I'm like, oh my god, I just got your score. As it is to have a profitable bottom line. That is absolutely brutal. To save one turn. I could have turned that off. Although, I guess it's for science a turn that I would have had to wait ten turns on. I'm not sure if it's worth losing that much science. To be honest with you. I am going to wait on this though. Because I, I want to save your score. To make sure I get golden. Although it's not hard to get it I guess. Oh man. Absolutely. Devastating. Ah, oh, if I just had one less score right now man. I need to mine a resource for a uh, Pantheon. I don't want to do that. Whoa. The hell. Freaking hate Epic, man. There's uh, That freaking app is brutal. We're going to kill a unit with a Slinger here hopefully soon. I'm just going to try and pop around. We're not getting a lot of boosts at the moment. <sighs> Could build their whatchamacallit there, the uh, diplomatic quarter right here, potentially. Adds a boost to that commercial hub. And it's next to the city center, which we want. Not too bad. Don't run away. Oh, nice. Boost to archery. I want to pop out another slinger before we get archery done. Especially since we have the card on. I didn't switch it out when I had the chance.
I'm just trying to think. Because I think I want to go here first. Because then I go to here. And then I was thinking about chopping. What's the other one? So that way I don't... Oh, I did that wrong. I should have went here and then I could have done it next turn. That was a huge mistake. Well, not huge, but... Yeah, pretty fun map so far. Can't complain. Can't complain at the moment. Jayavarman. Where's he? I don't know where he is. Hopefully not up there. like the gold from that clear even though I would have preferred, even more preferred to have the year score later better than Australia getting it oh dude he's gonna get that clear Unless there's another unit here that steps through next turn, he is going to get that clear. I'm not sure if I'm going to ever get a quarry to be built or not. There's iron, and it's not anywhere I was planning to do something else, so that's nice. Trying to think one, two, three. Not a ton of resources in this city either. <clears throat> okay. Government Plaza next turn, political philosophy next turn, which is also era score. Politics is the art of the Ah, <laughs> uh, we were not avoiding the uh, regular standard age at all. If we could get the clear, oh wow. That would be 18. This would be, if we're the first, what is it if it's, if you're first to discover a wonder? Is it two or three? We've kind of been delaying and now it's four turns. It's three. That would put us four away, but I don't know if have any idea how we get the end of the four. Not a big deal. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to step up here where this warrior cannot hit me. And this archer can help me out. I can get a promotion and then head that way. Oh, yeah, one for the hut. There's a hut there. There's a hut there, but I'm not going to get to that now. Yeah, I have an envoy, but I've got no way to get to two on any of these. Galley, holy sight. I don't have a I don't have a resource to mine at the moment. Really, really frustrating. Shoot, shoot, shoot.
Magnus will go in here, but I th actually you know what? Uh, how many turns on ancestral all ten? So I don't need Magnus in here for five turns, or for I don't have to establish him for five more turns. But I think I'd rather just go ahead and make the switch now. Yeah, let's just go ahead and make the switch now. And there. Magnus into here. We're going to need builders. We are going to need builders. I'm actually going to go this. And this. And I'm going to go... here because there's at least one tile I know I want to buy and that tile is this right here like that we have three slingers now which is nice And you know what? I'm going to wrap up this episode. We're past 40 minutes. I'm going to call it there. Thank you so much. Twitch, don't go anywhere, of course. But it is time for YouTube to say goodnight. Or maybe there's more other, another episode right after this. Depending on when you're watching this, there might be another episode. So you don't have to say goodnight. You can watch the next one. But don't forget to like them both. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.